Damn you! What is that power? You need to face the facts, Kefla. You cannot stop me now. I'll be the judge of that! <laughs> That's right, Goku! Keep getting stronger! Be your best nation! It's all for instant, alright? We couldn't have achieved this without another catalyst. This time it must have been Kefla. You mean it was her enormous energy? Yes, sir. The first time that Goku reached Ultra Instinct, it was the sheer force of his spirit bomb that triggered him, and Kefla's energy is roughly equivalent to that blast. Spurred by her great power, Goku has defied the odds and his own limits once again. Hell yeah! You really are cooking now, Goku! I can feel the heat your body's turning out all the way from down here! Is that your automatic ultra reflex thing or whatever? It's Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta give you props. It sure is one hell of a look. But on the other hand... I won't be outdone by anybody! I'll just have to up my own game, too! Happening up there? Is that Dad and Kepler? We're looking at two titans now. When one of them transcends to a new level, it prompts the other to do the same on and on. You're saying that because of Dad, the power of their fusion is even greater than it was before? That's right. I can feel her energy getting bigger with every minute. She's in a completely different league now! I can't get over how awesome this feels! I've got so much power flowing through me! I bet if I really wanted, I could rip your whole universe apart with a single blast! Just feel her energy! She may have even surpassed Goku's strength when he first got to this form! Sure you don't want to try charging up more? I'm good. I think this is all the power I need. <laughs> you think so? Alright. You're gonna be sorry when I blow you away! Hey! Dodging like that is for sissy! Dodging everything! Yet Goku's barely moving from his spot, his precision's unbelievable! If he can anticipate Kefla's every attack like this, her enormous power-up won't matter! This is bad! She can't even lay a finger on him! Kefla! Step it up! I didn't give you those hair legs to miss! She's attained a level of strength and speed few in the multiverse have ever known. But against Goku's reactions, it seems she has still fall short. Trying to make a fool out of me! Kakarot's movement is reading her like a book. It's almost like his body is reacting on its own. <gasps> no! Don't tell me! You figured out that technique we told us about, didn't you? So that's what this is, Kekalot. You just had to show me up again. <laughs> you didn't really think that punch would hurt me, did ya? You may have awesome reflexes, 
But your attacks when you're like this are just pathetic! Come on, Goku! Don't disappoint me! You can do better, can't ya? Yeah. I'm starting to get a handle on it. I can do much better. Behold the power of Ultra Instinct! <laughs> well, it does look like you've turned it up another notch. But you still haven't shown me you can use this upgrade to pack a decent punch. Ooh! Is your silence supposed to scare me? All it really does is make me want to kick your ass! So get ready! Okay, here I go! There's no way! What's the matter, Kefla? Is that all you've got for me? How is she still on her feet after taking all those attacks? Is she invincible or what? There's no doubt Kefla's fortitude and fighting spirit are commendable. However, Goku's strikes are not nearly as potent as they should be, considering the extent of his power. Perhaps he has still not adjusted to the new way his muscles work the autonomous instincts and how to command them for attacks. This wasted effort is costly. If he cannot defeat her with his next volley, I think his strength may give out. this right now damn you no you won't i'm nowhere close to done ah! Contestants Kale and Cauliflower of the Sixth Universe, known collectively as Kefla, are eliminated from the tournament.